Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Stage Dynamics. In this video, we're taking a look at the GPS Tactical Range Backpack. So I have a confession to make. I am a range hoarder. Uh, if I have a bag, and that bag's intent is to go to and from the range for training or practice, I will put things in there that I do not need. I will have magazines for guns I do not own. I will have tools that I will never use. I will have tools that have absolutely no purpose whatsoever going to the range. But I figure if there's a pocket and there's a space and there's a small, infant, even an infinitesimal chance that I might need something, I'm going to put it in that bag. So my range bags tend to be festooned with a bunch of crap that I don't need. Um, this is something I'm working on. Uh, it hasn't gotten so bad that I need an intervention, uh, but it is an issue that I've identified. It's a shortcoming I have with myself, and I'm seeking uh, to correct it. Now, I got this uh, the GPS Tactical Range Backpack from Optics Planet, which is cool because they carry a whole bunch of cool stuff. But anyway picked it up and I wanted to, I looked at the size and initially that, that hoarding pack rat part of me was like, oh, that's not big enough. Uh, I might need more stuff. I got drum magazines and brand magazines and, and I got actual reading magazines and books and tape and paint guns and all this other stuff that I need to put in my range bag just in case I need them. But size is awesome because from what I found and what I'll get into is it allows me to take everything I need and a little bit more but nothing that I don't really need. It, it, the size is really ideal for just strictly range trips. Now this is not a gray man bag. It's a backpack for the range. It's not trying to be anything it isn't. Um, the word tactical is in it, hence the color black. You can also get it tan. Uh, but it has a bunch of cool features which I'm gonna get into that, that really lend itself well to exactly what its purpose is. It's just a range bag. Uh, if you're like me, every now and then you've repurposed a bag for the range or found something that kind of worked but what didn't fill all your needs but it got close enough. Uh, I used a 511 patrol bag for years as my range bag. It's a patrol bag. It wasn't designed as a range bag. So it had a lot of big cavernous cargo areas where stuff would just kind of rattle around in there instead of being compartmentalized. And this bag has taught me that compartmentalization is super cool. Uh, just getting right into the features. Uh, big main pocket. Cool thing is things are labeled so there's no excuse to not put things where they belong now you might think eh, that's kind of kindergarten but it's actually pretty cool because now if i if as long as i follow my little pictograms here and put stuff where they belong i can't actually lose them and i don't have to look through another pocket to find them all i gotta do is open it up look at a little picture there it is good to go doesn't insult my intelligence too bad um, inner pocket super cool you know for your car keys you want to tie them down if you're going to do on the ground drills i highly recommend taking your keys out of your pocket um, obviously molly again it's not it's not trying to blend in so the molly actually comes in handy for storing stuff on the outside a very generous tool compartment which i found super useful um, obviously you know you can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there this is pretty cool it comes with this for your little spare parts um, glock related parts striker springs uh, you can put some firing pins in there for your ar platform whatever you need uh, and again there's some cool labels like hey here's where your flashlight goes some tools there things like that um, on the side pockets, you got a uh, tape for your tape. If you're going to carry tape, you might be one of those people that doesn't like tape. And a stapler pocket, which is super cool, because the stapler is one of the things I lose most frequently or misplace in my cavernous bags. Uh, it is a backpack, as you can see, um, and it's got a cummerbund on it, so if you're hiking a lot of weight or your range is somewhere uh, off-road, um, you can walk up to it a little bit comfortable. Another cool feature, target tie-downs. So obviously the bag's not big enough to just throw your rolled-up targets if you use 2D targets in there. Uh, but you can elastic and velcro two places there you go um, and another cool little feature uh, depending on what kind of range you use um, you might not have access to cover so it's got a pull out elastic bag cover uh, it is made of cordura the whole bag is made out of cordura uh, which is water resistant but it's nice to have the ability to make it waterproof with a bag cover uh, i like that they included that feature and then getting right around to the other side uh, you've got what appears to be another pocket when in actuality this pocket right here opens up and it gives you a sleeve section 
uh, which we're going to go in more in depth to. But basically, you'll have three of these panels right here, which carry handguns, and I'll, I'll get more into that in a second. If you're into patches, everything's got Velcro on the inside, so you want to put your patch collection inside your bag. If you're that uh, particular about it, you can. And then we've got two main cargo compartments to which you can put basically whatever you want in it. So for me, for example, I've just got some AR mags, tourniquet, uh, magazine loader. Um, there's a bunch of room in there. In fact, uh, I'll get right into exactly everything that you can fit in this bag. Uh, do, I did a quick layout of just everything I brought with me to the range today. Obviously, totally, total capacity is going to vary depending on what you're using the bag for, but as a, as a range-specific bag, as you can see, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, I had a complement for three handguns, ammunition, magazines, and I also brought along, you know, tools, sunblock, uh, tourniquet, flashlight, you know, kit like that, and then, you know, sunblock, some, some lubricant, uh, my cert pistol, staples, uh, and if you use 2D targets, roll targets, you can put those on there as well, and then the outside's molly for tools. Uh, the purpose of the bag really isn't to blend in, um, so the molly is actually more helpful than it is a hindrance if you're looking for one of those gray man bags. This really isn't that because this is a specific range bag. Uh, I don't think their intent was to have it blend in so much as just be very versatile. Uh, but as you can see, you can fit a lot of stuff in it and it still takes up a very small footprint. I can leave it fully loaded, throw it right in the gun safe if I want to. Uh, obviously, I can, I can rearrange things as I see fit if I'm not taking three handguns with me to the range, which is something I usually don't do. I usually just bring one or two depending on what I'm working on or what I'm filming, something like that. But full rifle complement, obviously you can't get a rifle in the bag. Uh, at least most rifles won't fit in the bag, but you can get plenty of ammunition. Um, you can take those, uh, those pistol sliders out and just put all nothing but ammo in there if you're just taking the rifle to the range. Uh, and then of course the other pockets will complement your magazines, your drums, what have you. So getting back to those sleeves I mentioned earlier, you kind of probably already saw them in the intro. Basically you have three of them that can fit in there. Uh, if you don't want to use them, uh, like I said, you can just leave this area open, fill it full of ammunition or whatever you're going to do. But these allow you to individually pack uh, your firearms. So gun pocket, you've got a sleeve back here for tools or you know whatever you want to put back there. And then you've got ammunition storage slash magazine storage right there. Uh, these allow you to uh, basically pack your guns and keep protected. I don't really worry about my guns rubbing against each other so much, but it is nice to have them separated from each other, uh, and I can just pull and play. Uh, again, I don't usually take that many guns with me to the range, but I like the option of being able to store them this way uh, inside the gun safe or something like that, having the bag ready to go. If I'm planning a range trip the next day, I can get everything ready the night before, be ready to go. Important question to ask, is the bag well made? Keeping in mind it's not designed for tactical long range deployments or airborne operations or anything like that, it's a range bag. That being said, uh, metal enclosures, uh, zippers, zippers are metal, I believe they're KKM, um, reinforced molly, reinforced shoulder straps. Uh, it is made of Cordura, I already mentioned that. Uh, and the stitching is actually really, really clean. Uh, some things, you know, if you worry about ordering bags, you never really have an idea because very few manufacturers provide you those close-ups. If you're one of those people that's really, uh, specific uh, about um, the stitching on a bag. It's something you definitely want to check out and most manufacturers and most websites they don't really give you those close-up photos so you can get an idea of what you're getting into. You just kind of got, got to go off of what it looks like and hopefully they give you some close-up photos you can zoom in on or something but for me I, I want to know what the stitching is going to be like especially around the hard use areas. You know after decades of using bags for various things I know what's going to hold up, where the failure points are going to be, things of that nature. Uh, so I was Pleasantly surprised to see that this bag, they some thought definitely went into not just the design and the modularity of the bag, but also hardware points or, or points that are going to experience more wear than others, uh, and your points that experience the most stress, uh, such as shoulder straps and uh, zipper closures. Final verdict on the GPS Tactical Range Bag, uh, I like it a lot. I'm glad it's in my life. Uh, I think it's going to go a long way towards um, curing me of my desire to uh, to, to be a hoarder, to be a range hoarder. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, it's just perfectly sized for everything that I need it for. Um, the only thing that I can't really fit in there is if I'm, if I'm going to be spending a really heavy day on the range shooting more ammo than usual, so to speak. Uh, I can't carry three handguns, you know, six rifle mags, and then a thousand rounds of nine and a thousand rounds of two, two, three. It's just not going to work. Cool thing is ammo comes in its own packaging, and if you order ammo in a thousand rounds, it comes in an additional package, which you can just carry separately. It doesn't need to go in the backpack. But, it is a backpack, it's range modular. It's not designed for, you know, tactical operations. Uh, it's, it's just a range bag. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that it's not trying to be anything it's not. Uh, and it's just right size, kind of like that Goldilocks area. 
to where I can get everything I need in it and nothing I don't, and it's going to keep me, again, from being a hoarder. Uh, so uh, if you're looking for a new range bag or you have the same problem as me and you want an intervention, uh, this is a, a really good way to go um, if you're looking for something like that. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.